Hello, techies. My name is Krishna. Welcome back to the channel. I share IT and technical related content every Saturday at 9 p.m. So stay tuned. I am delighted to see all your <laughs> amazing response in the other videos and on LinkedIn posts. Uh, so uh, please follow me on LinkedIn if you have not uh, followed, and uh, please uh, share your comments in the video. And, uh, so this is one of the most important video that I wanted to uh, upload. and i guess everyone is looking out for this video the road map as you would have seen in the thumbnail and the uh, and the title of the video so this is a road map from how you can from a non it background or even if you are from it background to a big data tester or etl tester okay so let's get started so i will divide this video in two parts one will be for it those who are already working in it or it professionals or somewhere related to it and they have some technical background and the second one will be a non it background where they don't have any it uh, experience so they can be uh, from a ba background or from bcom mba or any non degree or non it degree or any non engineering background or even if they are working in a non it sector even if they are from engineering background or it background even they might be working in hr or finance or any other department so for them also this video will be helpful or even facility or any kind of those 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 first one will be from it those who are working in it and have some professional experience to it the second one those who don't have any it knowledge so for them i will also give details okay so let's go to the screen and see how um, Uh, the road map of becoming a big data tester will be so it is very difficult to be in big data directly without any uh, knowledge or without any etl or data warehouse background without any uh, no data background and you directly into a getting into a big data testing is very difficult so uh, what i would recommend i recommend you to please start your career as etl tester or at least learn etl testing and data warehouse testing first and then get into the space of big data okay so the uh, road map the first step the first step will be you know learning the basics basic of it so those who are from not IT, non it background you first spend time to learn what is it uh, what are the different roles you can watch my other videos also i'll put in the i uh, button and uh, so what you can do you can learn about it and then those who are uh you know entering into uh, this space of data so what i would recommend you learn first step would be to learn the basics basics of what basics what is a table okay what is a table ha huh? what are uh, rows what are column okay and what is data what is you no know, what is front end what is back end all this some of the it related stuff okay and uh, so uh, since you are entering uh, the big data space or the data engineering space so what i would recommend you to learn what is metadata okay what is uh, bi what are the different tools available okay what is uh, dbms okay what is rd bms okay uh, what is a <laughs> database what is the database again that is also very important so all this topic you know you need to cover all this topic first first learn about these concepts you just have to read it if you don't understand please comment here i will try to make a video on that as well okay so this is what the first step okay so going to the next step the second step okay the second step would be to learn data warehouse concepts i know many of you Uh, would be interested for me to wait uh, make videos so please comment which all topic you want me to make videos so what is data warehouse okay the history of data warehouse okay and uh, what is the need why do we need data warehouse uh, what is oltp what is olap okay these are very important so what is etl what is etl okay characteristics of data warehouse then architecture architecture of data warehouse and then what is normalization data normalization okay what are the different data models okay 
what are the different data models schemas like star schema snowflake snowflake schema okay these are some of the important topic then what is etl uh, project architecture how data flows all that you should know and uh, i have already uh, made a video of it please check the i button and uh, watch that video it's a lengthy video but it will make your uh, you know theoretical concept very clear on how data flows what are the different levels of testing that is done then coming on so this is done so part 2 okay but you have to learn this theoretical concept without the theor theoretical concepts uh, learning anything beyond this will be of no use because you will not be able to relate on what is actually happening practically what happening in any company or any data warehouse project okay so coming on to the third step third step that is very important sql <laughs> okay everybody keep asking me on linkedin uh, what all topics we should cover sql so please watch this part very carefully so you don't have to master you don't have to master sql you don't have to become a sql master okay so you have to learn sql for the sake of testing so you have to become a tester so to become a tester you don't have to master anything not to become anything you don't have to master but still okay so uh you have to learn what are the what are good data types okay what are data types what is a uh, variable what is syntax all that you should know and you should know what is ddl dml tcl dcl okay all this you should know basic knowledge of it you don't have to master any of this but basic knowledge you should know what is dcl what are the different commands that is in ddl dml okay and then like in ddl part you have to learn create okay create drop alter all this you have to uh, practice okay i would recommend you to practice on oracle okay uh, install oracle system install a virtual box install oracle and then practice okay create drop alter you have to practice you should have a, a high level knowledge of it how to work in this you don't have to master it then coming on to dml part you should know okay you should know like insert okay update delete select and as a tester we will mostly be working with select okay so you should be very 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 thorough with select all other you should have basic knowledge of it but select you should be very good at okay so uh, then furthermore you have to know about uh, different uh, clauses uh, distinct clause order by clause group by clause where clause having clause all that uh, then different conditions are there and or all this conditions you should know uh, and then uh, one more one uh, important part will be learning what functions okay functions like character functions character string whatever you want to say character string functions then aggregate functions then analytical functions then uh, what else date functions okay and then um, yeah okay these are these functions are very important Okay, then you have to know uh, set set operators, set operators, joins, okay, constraints, then views, okay, sub queries, see you don't have to master these topics, you don't have to master them. Okay, you should know see constraints set operator joins these are you know uh, very core part of uh, sql you should practice you should practice well join set operators you no know, set operators like union union all minus intersect then joins like uh, no inner join outer join left outer join right outer join uh, then full join then cross join all these you have to practice well okay because in interview they will ask about these questions okay please comment if you want to know what all the topics they will cover in sql as a tester okay what all questions they will ask please comment if you want to know more about it because i have given more than 80 interviews for testing before that i have given as a fresher i have given 40 50 interviews and recently 
while changing also i have given maybe total overall you can see around 150 interviews what i have given so i have a good knowledge of in cracking interviews okay so sub queries and uh, views mm. see uh, i have mentioned a lot of things and i have missed a lot of things why because i don't want to overload at this point in time so you practice all these these functions you practice take one at a time practice it you now learn it first do it on paper and then practice it on any database mostly i would recommend oracle so practice that on a database so create some tables you know update some table insert data then do select queries then write all these function character function aggregate functions all these you would write okay so all this information i'll be writing an article you can read all the information the link of the article i'll put in the description i am writing an article in linkedin so you can follow me on linkedin and read the article please save the article for your future references so that you when you start your journey as you go first second third step so you keep progressing you see your progress where am i now so the fourth step is unix i know many of you will hate me why am i saying unix so unix linux whatever you want because any data warehouse project or etl project if you take they are very old projects okay so most of the data will be on unix 30 40 years old ago legacy system they were on unix so you can compare it to linux what i would recommend you uh, so there are a lot of commands unix commands okay uh, so basically you can say unix is the lung of etl testing so when you see sql sql is the heart of etl testing so unix is the lungs of etl testing what i would recommend you recommend you to install the unix system ubuntu or any fedora or any other linux system whichever you are comfortable with uh, they are freely available you can download install virtual box and then install your um, your uh, linux system and practice there so if you if you want me to come up with a video please comment and ask uh, comment unix i will make a unix video how to set up the environment if you want i can uh, make a video on that and if you just want co uh, commands what all commands are required for cracking the interview and the what all commands how it works i can come up with that video also so this you install you know set up environment environment setup and practice this will not take much time but you have to practice the next step would be fifth step testing concepts testing concepts so this is again those who are from testing background uh, they might be having a good knowledge of it but this is a very vast topic this video is already crossed 10 minutes so i don't want to you know make it even more lengthy i will come up with a video on testing concepts and the sixth is etl testing concepts Uh, some of the them will be etl concepts and testing related concepts okay so this testing and etl testing they both are different so testing related like what all different types of testing are there what are the different process related operation related concepts because they last in the interview they are expecting at least 10% 20% of the questions from testing there there is a expectation from the candidate saying that they should know about this process and etl testing again depends on the etl and data warehouse and big data testing so those people who are trying for this you know role so there it will be very helpful for you so these two concepts are very vast again if i extend the video it will be much longer it lost 20 minutes 30 minutes and if you are really interested in long lengthy videos with detailed you uh, know road map of testing and needle testing please comment and i will um, give details of it i'll create another video for testing another video for needle testing so whichever video you want first please comment if you just need testing this comment testing and if you need only etl testing just type etl i will make a video whichever comment is higher i will uh, make that video and please don't <laughs> hesitate to like the video if you are getting any knowledge of it okay and all these notes what i have given and a little more extra additional notes whatever uh, content i have created notes these i'll be creating a article on linkedin i will keep the link on the description please click there go there and read the article and keep this for your reference so that you track your progress i hope you all like the video thank you for watching see you next week saturday at 9 pm please comment uh, if you uh, need any other uh, related uh, no um, uh, any other topic that you would like me to cover and if you are getting demotivated please subscribe to my other channel where i motivational stories and uh, inspiring stories stories from famous personalities their luck success their failure all that so please uh, subscribe to that channel and 
watch some of the videos there okay keep be inspired be motivated and crack interviews and get wonderful jobs and do good for your family okay uh, make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video krishna coming off bye bye